Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 22 of Going Old School. And in this one, we're going to continue the run to Odessa and then hopefully knock out another city after that. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes for me, a day for you. So I turn the auto head position thing back on. to see if that helps a little bit. Oh, I guess what I could do is catch you all up here quick. Just as a refresher. And in case someone's joining me for the first time, if you are, damn glad to have you. Consider hitting that subscribe button because the content is amazing. I think it is anyway. So we are right here, I would assume. Yeah, right there. Anyway, we are on uh, 277 North, going up here to Odessa. So in San Angelo, that turns to 87. And then when we get to I-20 here, we're going to hang a left. We're not actually going to get on 20. We're just going to stay on this frontage road because it goes right into our delivery point. All right, let's roll. All right, and we're gonna say we left at 6.50. Oh, screw it, we'll just say we left at seven. Because if I was running a paper log, that's what I'd put down. Honestly, if I was running a paper log, I'd have put down that I started my pre-trip at 7. Rolling at 7.15. And then all you have to do is just cross fingers. You don't get in an accident or something in that 15 minute time span. For game purposes, we'll just say we left at 7 to start our day. Alright, well I didn't have any exits going to San Angelo, so... say that this just all of a sudden turned into 87. That's a good start to this episode. So we're on 10 West. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I didn't write that down. All right, well, all is not lost. So now we just need to change this and we're going to stay on 10 West. So let me cross all of that out and we're going to go 10 West to 385 North. And then we're going to take a, take a left to stay on 385 North. Okay. And then we are going to Hang a right to go to 20 East. Stay on frontage. So that's the right, but we're not going to get on 20 East. We're going to stay on the frontage road. And then we're going to take a left at truck stop. And then right 
on frontage. Left into waste management. And in real life, if this happened back in the day before we were running GPSs, uh, I would have done this with my Atlas as I'm still driving down I-10 and my big-ass trucker Atlas on my steering wheel. All right, so let me just verify this again. We're staying on 10 West to 385 North. We're going to take this left to stay on 385 North. When we get to 20, we're going to hang a right, but we're staying on the frontage road. Then we're going to take a left at this truck stop. And then we're going to take it right on the frontage road into waste management. All right. Come on, car. See all these flashing lights? Yeah, I want to get over. Holy shit, just like real life. It's like they see those flashing lights and then get mesmerized and don't know what to do. Accelerator's on the right, lady. Okay, now that you all sped up. All right, all right. I'll play your silly game. to zero out my odometer as well, but too late now.
pay attention for a sign up here that 387 goes off to the left. I said 387 back there. Glad you saw it my way, car. There's trucks coming down over there. I mean, whatever. I'll use, I'll follow the signs. I'll use a truck route. Six one half dozen of the other. This is just gonna dump us out closer to the waste management.
actually quicker too, I believe, because we would have ended up taking a left right here anyway. There's waste management trucks. That goes to nothing, so... Oh, waste management transfer station. Okay. Perfect. Now do we go all the way back there, or do we actually come in this little gate? in that little gate. We will go with it. What time did I say we left? Seven? All right. Unload. Odessa. Knocked off the list. Which I think is 31. I don't know. It popped up on the screen. Alright, current company job offers. I'm going to check this, but I actually want to check something else. Yeah, we've been at Artesia, and we've already been at Tucum Carry, right? No, we haven't been at Tucum Carry. But what I want to do... Oh, the cargo market for Odessa. I have to drive somewhere else. Don't need Laredo. We need shit east or San Angelo. Maybe that's what I should do is just type in San Angelo and get that shit knocked out. San Antonio. Why is it so hard to get to San Angelo? Nothing out of there. Okay, then let's do this. I'll get rid of this trailer if I can get to San Angelo. San Angelo. Odessa to San Angelo on a flatbed. Okay. Oh, that's got to be picked up in 30... Or no, it has, has 38 minutes left on it in real world time. Okay, that's fine. And there's pallet racks. Offer expires 153. I don't know where Metal West is. Okay, it's over there. So in game time, I don't know. We could drive over there and it take more than an hour and 53 minutes in, in game time. So that being said, it's going to be more beneficial to take... Um... This one in the external, not external market, external contract. Begin delivery before taking. Do you want to dismiss current trailer? Yes.
Whew. I get nervous when the game does that because I thought it crashed. Sorry, I was not expecting that to pop in right quick. All right, so we're at Waste Management. We need to go to Metal West. Oh, it's right across the damn road, right? Well, I think I can handle that without writing anything down. And the good thing is, since it's external, we don't have to check in anywhere. The bad thing is, we're governed at 65 miles an hour. I don't know if I can get out that way, so I'm just doing this. Alright, so the auto head position thing is kind of cool to do that comes in hand every now and then. Actually, now that I'm going out this way, let me double check and make sure. Just for future reference. Nope, couldn't have got out that way. Perfect. Glad I did this then. give us is discovering but yet if it was a viewpoint it would have popped up saying you discovered a viewpoint although I take that back it wouldn't have popped up shit because I have that turned off so all right where's our trailer Is this a base game? That's what I'm talking about. Love me some flatbed. Anyone's wondering. That's exactly how it would connect to trailers in real life as well. I used to hate people that would just bang into the freaking kingpin. There's no need for that shit. Alright, so we are going to San Angelo. So... We're gonna hop out here, hang a left. Actually, I can freaking get to 20, so we're gonna take 20 east. And then we're gonna take 87 south. 20 east to 87 south. And we're staying on 87 south. 
There's going to be a metal west on the left. I don't know if we'll be able to see that, but that we're going to take our first right into San Angelo. I, this could be a major thing as well. Bottom line is we we should see that. If we hit the US 67 interchange, we went way too far. So all I have written down on my piece of paper is 20 east to 87 south. Let's do it. I ain't scared. Okay, I gotta pop out here because I am curious. If this is a. I think this is a base game flatbed. What confuses me though, SCS developers, and I know none of you are watching this, why do you have so many straps over the front and then, like, it's like you gave up towards the back? Which I was taught for anything metal that you can put straps on or chains. You put two within your first 10 feet of the load, and then if it's metal, it's every eight feet after that. And if it's wood, it's every 10 foot after that. So realistically, on the back half of the trailer, there, there should be two more straps. One on either side of that wood dunnage. But again, I mean, it's on there, it's, you know. I'm sure the DOT would be fine with it. I was taught differently. I just went the wrong way. <clears throat> Maybe I should have wrote more down. I wasn't thinking clearly there. but you know hey sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and it's the exit actually as well but whatever works all right we're clear right are we clear left yes see look at that no harm no foul Salt my notes here that I took so well. Uh, 20 east to 87 south.
7 South. Look at that. I just can't miss my turn.
made a mental note in my head to how many of curves like this there were, but I don't remember <laughs> how many there were. There's buildings though, so this is our final one. That should be a metal west on the left. And that's San Angelo. Yep, metal west. And then there's a Walmart up here. Why did you slow down so much, Ty? You didn't need to slow down that much. This appears to be a Metal West sign right here. Nailed it. So other than my little snafu coming out of Metal West, That's a pretty flawless trip. Now it's probably going to want us all the way around the other side of the building. So let's go check. Good lord, let's slow that down. Yep, it's going to want us all the way over here into this doorway, I bet. Oh. Oh no, inside. I haven't had that one. I've had this one. Alright, either way. Yeah, we're just going to blindside it. There's not going to be enough room to... Uh, Alright, so I want to come around, release your brake time. this trailer on the right like that and then I'm going to spin around this way come out something like that so now I may have not set that up good enough, but let's see. So my point of aim is just on the other side of that like dirt rusty spot where it turns light gray is where I want to bend this trailer around to. I should have probably started sooner because I may run out of room at the front of the truck over here.
And if anyone's wondering, I've actually backed into steel mills before that looked like this on your mirror and you literally had to look out here and make sure you didn't hit your mirror on the door. And it's, it's been as close as that. And there are times that you would have a, uh, I'll pop out here in just a minute and try and explain it more. Is my line green? I mean, it could have been over more. Oh, wait a minute. It wanted me to pull in. Oh, I didn't see the arrow on the floor, you idiot. It's a pull through. But it's not because it's going to make me back out because that's not open on the other end, which is stupid. Oh, well, there you go. Do you ever have to back in like that? But what I was going to say is that there are typically two trucks in there, so there could have been a truck already getting loaded in there. Yeah, some of those, there's not a, not a whole lot of room. And I don't have a problem with this unload the way it is. What I have a problem with is that door on the other end isn't open. So it's going to make you back out of here, which is, is not the case because see the arrow on the floor. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe the door will open down there, but I highly doubt it. Although, also, this isn't our trailer, so it really doesn't matter. Well, that was fun, huh? So we now for sure just have the eastern part. We have El Paso, Fort Stockton, Van Horn, and Pecos left. So let's see what time it is because I'm not going to have time to run. Okay, a couple of things. Well, let me do this first. Okay, so 3.15. We started at 7. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough time, but since I'm here... I'm just gonna pull up here and see if this door opens. Which I'm fairly certain it's not going to. Alright, well, you learn something new every day. I'm in, okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed with that one. Absolutely impressed with that one. Since we're here, let's just do this, huh? Well done, SES. And I, I mean, I have no problem giving kudos where kudos are due. Oh, I don't need that. What am I doing? I just need to hit that. There we go. Let's see what's coming out of here. Right, the buoys, the pipe, corrugated pipe. Oh, yeah. That's going up to that construction site. No. If that was going into Abilene, I may consider it to take to pick up another trailer, but no. Not happening. Alright, let's see what this is. Which I don't even know why I just I did this. I just I got ahead of myself again. And I apologize because what I meant to do was come out here. Well, number one, what sidetracked me is I didn't think that damn door was going to open. And then once it did, I got sidetracked and totally forgot to set my time. So it's uh, 3.19. We could actually roll at 1.19. Um, 
we could play that shit's open 24-7 to pick up. But I don't know where we're getting the load from, so... Let's just say we'll go... I mean, we'll still sleep in a little bit. We'll go with... 05 in the morning. Alright, so now we'll pull up here and see if anything changed out of this location. been to both Waco and Del Rio so all right that's fine what will happen then is since these are all real world times uh Des Victoria love it Corpus Abilene that's actually going into Abilene San Simon Lubbock Denver Colorado Billing, Seattle, Odessa. It just came from Odessa. All right. So here's the thing. Again, external contracts go off real world time. Oh, I could just refresh as well. So that's what I'll do. I'll check again tomorrow morning my time and see what this looks like and hopefully there's something to like Van Horn El Paso or hell even into like Carlsbad or something like that and with that ladies and gentlemen episode 22 comes to an end I actually remembered to turn the lights back on on the rig so you can see me a little better not that that who the hell wants to see me Anyway, uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the damn button. I mean, you've probably come back more than once, so by now it's a thing. So just hit the subscribe button, please. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. Or dislike, whatever. But if you do hit the dislike button, drop down in the comments and tell me why. I'd just be curious. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.